Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the antibody cocktail treatment given to President Donald Trump. If you are new to the channel, I'm Dr. Han. I'm so happy you are visiting my channel. In this channel, you will find science review content, update on the latest global health topic. I also like to share tips and tricks for students' personal and academic development. If these are your interest topic, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you have already subscribed, thank you very much for coming back. So on October 2nd, the President of the United States Mr. Donald Trump was diagnosed with COVID-19 and he re immediately received a dose of antibody cocktail treatment. Now let's find out more about this antibody treatment in today's video. Alright, like I said in the intro video, today I am going to talk about this antibody cocktail treatment. First, a disclaimer, this video is my interpretation and summary of publicly available scientific information. This video does not serve as any advice on regarding treatment, diagnosis, and preventions of any diseases, and all the company that I mentioned in my videos, I have no affiliation with them. First, a little bit of the background. Now, the President of the United States, Mr. Donald Trump, was diagnosed with COVID-19 on Friday, October 2nd. He was then quickly given a 8 gram dose of antibody cocktail treatment. Now, what is this antibody cocktail? Let's find out. So it turned out this antibody cocktail is an investigational antibody drug with a name called REGN CoV2. And it is developed by a pharmaceutical company called Regeneron. Currently, this antibody is in its phase 3 trial. This trial is evaluating its effectiveness in reducing viral load and alleviating symptoms in non hospitalized patients. Now, overall, this trial is part of a bigger study looking at how this antibody cocktail can help treating hospitalized patients and as well as preventing the disease. Now let's look at how does it work. First we have our SARS-CoV-2 virus in this picture and all these mushroom head there is their spike protein. Now here we have the enlarged spike protein Essentially, it has two basic parts, some of the stem part or and then another head part. The head part have a component called receptor binding domain. Now normally, through infections, it will bind to our ACE2 receptor. So that is the normal process. But with the help of the antibody cocktail binding to the RBD receptor binding domain on the spike protein, it will effectively stop the virus from interacting with our ACE2 receptor. So it is important to note that these two antibodies bind to different regions of the RBD and therefore blocking entry into the cell. So let's look at some of the preclinical data, so i.e. when this antibody was still in the lab. And this result was published in the journal Science in late August. And it is important to note that these antibody cocktails are designed to bind to different regions of the spike protein, and by doing so, it showed effectiveness in preventing mutant virus from escaping the antibody treatment. So what do we know from the clinical trials? Now, before we look at the clinical trial data, first we have to understand some term in this trial. The first term is seropositive. Seropositive means patients that are infected with the virus and the body has started generating antibody against this virus okay, within the patient's body. And seronegative means those, have, those that have infected with the disease but yet generating the antibody against the virus. 
So in this study, currently there are some available data released by the company. First, they look at the seronegative patients with a placebo, i.e. just receiving an empty dose. It showed that symptoms of deviations is averaged at about 13 days. So normally, people that are infected with the disease showed some improvement by week two if they are not hospitalized. But in those patients that are not generating antibody, i.e. those seronegative patients, with the cocktail treatment, it showed a reduction of viral load uh, about seven days earlier. And also, the higher the baseline of the viral load, the greater the reductions in day seven. And this also associated with greater symptom relief. So they, in this study, they basically look at two dose, 8 grams versus 2.4 grams, i.e. the high dose and the low dose. Now, the high dose was the dose that the president received, and both dose have showed to be well tolerated in different patients. So what is the take-home message? Now, this antibody cocktail treatment appears to be quite promising, and it's used mostly in non-hospitalized patients currently. Now, both high and low dose are well tolerated, although there are some infusion reactions reported in the test participants, but no death report is being observed. And right now, more than 2,000 people have already have this antibody cocktail treatment, including President Trump. So to learn more, here are the links for the study. Okay, first is the press release from Regeneron illustrating the currently available data and the original study that is at the preclinical stage published in the Science Journal. So I hope this video provided some basic knowledge of the antibody cocktail treatment for COVID-19. That is all for this week and I'll see you again next Sunday for another video of COVID-19 update. Bye.